Hey guys, I'm John, and today we're here at the Mishimoto Garage to install the Mishimoto Performance Aluminum Radiator in this 2010 Subaru STI. Now this radiator was designed to be a direct fit for the 08-14 WRX, 08-15 STI, 05-09 Legacy GT, as well as the 09-13 Forester XT. If you've purchased the X-Line version of this radiator, you're going to follow the exact same install steps. While you're at it, you might as well install the Mishimoto silicone coolant hose kit as well as the Mishimoto radiator stays. During this install, we're also going to be using the Mishimoto liquid chill synthetic coolant. Let's get started. Tools needed for install include 10 and 12 millimeter deep sockets, short quarter drive extension, quarter drive ratchet, 10 millimeter ratchet wrench, 19 millimeter wrench, Phillips head screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, channel lock pliers, pop clip pliers, a pick tool, a funnel, and Mishimoto's liquid chill synthetic coolant. Install time is about two hours, and install difficulty is a three out of five. Lift up your Subaru with a jack and safely secure on jack stands or use a lift. Slowly remove the cap on the expansion tank. Disconnect the fan plugs for the fans. With a flathead screwdriver, loosen the drain plug and allow it to drain. Make sure to have a bucket handy. Using needle nose pliers, remove the spring clip from the expansion tank hose and set aside. Remove the overflow hose coming from the expansion tank. Using needle nose pliers, remove the spring clip from the upper radiator hose. After enough coolant has drained from the system, remove the radiator cap from the radiator. Remove the hose from the overflow bottle and remove the overflow bottle from the engine bay. Any residual coolant can remain in the bottle. Detach the two top radiator stays by removing the two 12mm bolts that hold each stay in place. Remove the two 10mm bolts holding the metal overflow tube to the radiator. Do not remove the bolts holding the cooling fans to the radiator quite yet. Using needle nose pliers, remove the spring clip holding the lower radiator hose. Spray a bit of WD-40 onto the clamp to help with removal. Remove the radiator and fan assembly by slowly pulling the assembly upward. If necessary, hold the top radiator hose out of the way. If you plan on installing the Mishimoto Plug and Play Fan Shroud Kit, install the Mishimoto Fan Shroud onto the Mishimoto radiator. If not, then transfer the stock cooling fans to the Mishimoto radiator. Either way, attach only two 10mm bolts to the top of the radiator. If you plan on installing the Mishimoto Silicone Hose Kit, Remove both the upper and lower radiator hoses after first removing the spring clips. A little bit of lubricant around the spring clip will help with removal. Wrap the expansion port plug in Teflon tape and insert the plug into the radiator end tank using a 19mm wrench. Use the smaller expansion port for the 08-09 WRX and 08-15 STI. All other vehicles will use the larger fitting. If you are installing the Mishimoto silicone hose kit, Install and tighten the worm gear clamp onto the lower hose using a flathead screwdriver. Then, attach the hose to the inlet. Install the Mishimoto Performance Radiator into your Subaru. Make sure both bottom mounting bushings are positioned into the lower radiator support. A little bit of WD-40 into the bushings will help with installation. Reinstall both radiator stays and tighten the two 12mm bolts. Reattach the two 10mm bolts holding the overflow tube to the radiator. Insert the overflow tank to the fan shroud and insert the rubber overflow line onto the overflow nipple on the radiator fill neck. Using needle nose pliers, reattach the overflow line from the expansion tank to the Mishimoto radiator. Reattach the upper radiator hose to the radiator. The hose should already have a worm gear clamp installed before attaching to the radiator. Make sure to tighten with a flathead screwdriver. Install and tighten the worm gear clamp onto the lower hose using a flathead screwdriver. Reinstall the air inlet duct. With your Subaru still elevated, fill the cooling system starting with the radiator. Once the radiator and engine are filled, cap the radiator with the stock round cap. Fill the expansion tank and cap it with a Mishimoto radiator cap. Double check for any leaks. 
Now that you've properly bled your cooling system and have checked for any leaks, you're ready to go ahead and enjoy your brand new Mishimoto Performance Aluminum Radiator. Push the limits.